Hi, today we're going to do a folk art home. I'm showing you two examples of the same idea. Although similar, they're both very, very different. I'm showing you them to give you an idea of what you can do with a single idea. Now it's possible that I could have duplicated one of the earlier rock paintings, but I wanted to try a few other things. So combining a few of the elements of the other folk art homes and some new things. This then is another example of painting a folk art home. First, using the light blue Posca pen, I painted in the sky and then using a little bit of purple and then blending it in with the light blue color, I created a backdrop of mountains in the background. To create some more mountains in the background, I applied a wash of Craft Smart Bright Blue. I'm applying various shades of green and yellow to paint in the top of the tree. Just blend in the top of the tree until you're happy with it. For the trunk, I'm using brown. And for the front of the house, I'm blending in pink and yellow for the front of the house. When blending in Posca pens, it's easier if the layers are wet still. And every so often, clean off the nib of the pen by simply doodling on a sheet of paper. Now you could take the blend all the way down to the base of the house, but what I like to do is to paint in a fresh area of the color and work up towards the blend. Now we're going to work on the yard. Using a light shade of green, paint in a base layer to the bottom of the yard. Then using a darker green, blend the dark green into the light green using short strokes. Then using a combination of both the dark green and light green Posca pens, blend in the foreground of the yard. What you're doing now is creating a base layer for future painting. What you're trying to do is essentially just now switching to the left part of the yard to give the right side time to dry I'm using first off yellow then I'm switching back and forth between the yellow and the light green and then dark green remember it's going to be easier in blending if the Posca pens are still wet. If they're not still wet, add another layer of the color that you're working with and blend with that. As with any of my rock painting ideas, they are just that, ideas. You can stop at any time that you're happy with the stone in progress. Remember, this is your painting. You want to train something up? Go for it. You like the way it looks at any particular point? go with that. I would recommend, however, of watching the video completely through to see where I'm going and to get an idea of what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. What I'm trying to do here is to create an impression of a grassy field. As in real life, grass does not grow in only one direction. We're also not trying to paint individual blades of grass. Instead, what we're trying to do is again give an impression of grass. Sometimes it'll point to the right, some points it'll point to the left and back and forth. Every so often switch up the green that you're using and the direction that you're painting. If you think you're doing too much varying up, the chances are you aren't, so do it some more.
don't forget to carry the grass up to the top but make sure the blades are shorter we're going to do the right hand side of the yard the same way as we did the left side we're going to continue using yellow light green and dark green I'm going to speed up here just a little bit now we're going to work on the pathway just as the the grass is in an up and down motion the path is a series of side to side strokes this can be loosely referred to as directionality what you want to do is paint the same kind of strokes but going across paying attention to this kind of detail and more dimensionality to your piece not doing it, the brain will pick up that something is just not right. Again, I'm going to speed this part up. Remember, as you get closer and closer to the bottom, you want to increase the darkness, thereby giving it the impression of more detail. What I'm doing here is adding some blades of grass on the side of the pathway to give it a little bit more depth. Now to give the front of the house a little bit more personality and depth, we're going to paint in the windows. I chose a heart at the roof and squares for the remainder, but you could do whatever you want. All the windows in your house can be hearts, triangles, or stars, whatever you want. This is your house, you're moving in tomorrow. Design it however you want. For the door, I used a combination of yellow and brown. While the yellow was still wet, I dabbed a little bit of brown to add color. I'm applying a little bit of yellow to the sides of the roof and a little bit of brown to the chimney. Along the edge of the path, I'm dabbing in some white circles that will soon become flowers. In the foreground, I'm adding some flowers as well. I didn't paint these in white because there's going to be a few layers. If you haven't guessed by now, I'm doing tulips. I love painting tulips. To me, they're one of the first signs of spring and gives us all a bit of hope. I'm applying just a dab of pink to the middle ground tulips. And since I want the pink to pop just a little bit, I'm adding a little bit of white to the tops of the tulips. Using a little bit of brown mixed in with water, I'm painting in the branches of the tree, one on either side. I also painted in a swing on the right hand side branch. and a bit more detail to the treetop. And because every sky needs some clouds, I'm painting in some now, and some smoke coming from the chimney. And of course, we have to have a white picket fence. I'm adding one now. For the detailing, I'm using a micron pen. Ideally, what you want to do is have the paint dry totally 
I normally like to have a rock painting rest overnight. The lines tend to be crisper and I reduce the chance of ruining the pen tip. That's why I tend to work on two or more pieces at the same time. That way, when one is dry, I can continue working. For the door, I'm using a combination of yellow, tan, and brown. The same colors that I used for the pathway, with the yellow still wet. I'm just dabbing a little bit of brown, letting it blend by itself. Since I just painted the door, it's still wet. The lines don't come in easily, and you can see the benefit of having it rest overnight. Celebrate each other, celebrate your creative inner voice, and remember to paint along the way.